Good Friday morning. I'm Corey Duke. And I'm Justin Fisher. Here's a look at some of today's top stories from 2 News Oklahoma. Four people killed in a crash last night, including two young girls from Westville, Oklahoma. Nine others injured, including seven kids, ages ranging from 2 to 14 years old. Multiple were taken to hospitals, still listed as critical. It happened after 5 off US 59 at Bakery Feed Mill Road in Watts, Oklahoma. And we've now learned that one of the vehicles was a state line Christian Academy van. 11 people were in it. The driver, a 13 year old girl and an 11 year old girl, all pronounced dead at the scene. The other vehicle, a Dodge Ram, that driver also killed. Tulsa police still looking for answers in the case of human remains found last night. Officers responded to reports of a body just yards from a McDonald's drive through. That's near East Admiral Place. Investigators say it was obvious the body was there for months, but there is no ID found with it. The investigation is ongoing. Thursday night, Mays County Commissioners voted 2-1 to one to approve a tax package to help bring thousands of jobs to what's rumored to be a battery plant at Mid-America Industrial Park. The $300 million Tax Increment Finance District Plan, or TIF, passed by the Mays County Commissioners will combine with the state's proposal to bring in the manufacturer. It'll last 12 years and covers nearly 600 acres of land at the Industrial Park. Now let's get over to meteorologist Michael Sager for a look at that forecast. Michael. Tracking a chance for strong to severe storms this evening and into tonight. Potentially could have some higher end severe weather with wind, hail, and tornado potential, but there are still questions of the coverage of what we might see later this evening. It would be very isolated, so most of us probably won't get any storms this evening, but there's a chance we could get one or two to pop up that could become strong to severe. Now, with a cold front sweeping through tonight, that storm chance will increase and we'll go to scattered showers and storms during the overnight hours. Windy today as well. Hold on to those hats, but we'll make it through most of the day dry, and it looks like a great weekend before more storms return early next week.